Say that. Sorry, sir. We don't want to lose any fingerprints. If you're referring to my wife... Oh, Robert, speak. please, just calm down, huh? The same Buddha as the one in New York. Holly, do you have any idea how or why this got here? Well, of course she doesn't. What are you implying? Look, Robert, what? I just asked her a question. I've never seen it before. Then how do you explain how it got in your kitchen cabinet? That's our kitchen cabinet. And if you have any more bright questions like that, you'll kindly address them to me. I don't know what to say. And you have no idea how this ended up in your kitchen cabinet? Well, of course she doesn't. I still have to ask, Robert. No, you don't. Look, this is my wife you're talking to oh, here. come on. Now, I'm aware of that. Don't get angry with Bert, Robert. This Buddha was obviously planted here. By whom? How the hell would we know? Well, did you let anybody in? A delivery man, maybe a new maid. How could I? We just walked in the door. Yeah, right, from New York. All right, when you walked in the door, did you see anything unusual? Did anything seem out of place? We'd only been here a few minutes, and then you came barging in. I swear <laughs> I didn't put it there. Holly, I believe you. Then what's with the interrogation? Robert, I am only asking her the same questions the DA will ask when he arrives. The DA? Yes, he asked to be called if we found anything. One of my men is calling him. Why? Well, for one reason, because this is his jurisdiction. I can't believe this is happening! Holly, look, don't worry. It's a frame-up, and we'll prove that. And it's probably the DA now. The vultures are all gathering. Oh, come on. Robert, I got here as soon as I can. Oh, ready. just in the nick. I have to say, this is going to be a necktie party. Holly, are you all right? No, not really. Well, what happened? The, the paper didn't give too many details. No, just another one of the Shelton's superb character assassinations. What's all this I hear about you in possession of stolen property? I was. I don't... You were? A Buddha. A Buddha, just like that one there. I don't understand. Bert's man found it in our uh, kitchen cabinet. Bert, I don't get this. There were two very valuable Buddhas stolen from a Park Avenue collection. One was planted on Holly in New York, and we just found the other one here, Don. Yeah, well, what gave you the idea of looking here in the first place? The DA had an anonymous tip. The DA? You didn't tell me that. Well, you didn't give me a chance. <laughs> Holly, how did all this get started? A, a man, uh, Phil Herman, called me at my hotel in New York. He wanted to meet me. Well, did you know him? No, but he said he knew a way of, of clearing Robert's name. Clearing Robert's name of what? It's all that garbage that Shelton printed in his paper last week, you know. So, of course, I went to meet him. Uh, we met at a bar in the east side, and he must have slipped the butter into my purse. Well, well didn't he say anything about uh, why? End of the day, I... Robert? This is a lousy trick, Morgan. I'm just doing my job. This is no way to get back at me because of our personal differences. Oh, nothing of the sort. I got an anonymous tip, and I had to follow it up. Mrs. Scorpio, I'm sorry if I've inconvenienced you. I understand. You say you found another... Right here. This is a uh, uh, very valuable piece of jade. girl about not mentioning Slater. You trusted me. Looks like you're the only person I can trust. Mrs. Scorpio. Yes, Mr. Morgan. Does this statue match the one you say was planted on you in New York? It was planted on her. Does it? It certainly looks like the same one. I'm told it's a priceless piece of art. Excuse me, uh, I'm no expert on these things, but this is a very old piece of jade. It must be worth a fortune. You were told half a million. I didn't steal that one, and I didn't steal the one in New York either. Be that as it may, it is stolen property, and it was found in your house. That doesn't mean a thing. Look, Robert, I am not doing this because I enjoy it. Really? The facts are, Mrs. Scorpio was found with one statue in New York, and here's the mate here in her kitchen. Our kitchen. Okay. Now, just how do you explain this? I... She doesn't have to explain it. All right? Now, if you feel that you think you're going to take her into custody, you've got another thing coming. You're going to have a hell of a fight in your hands, Morgan. Robert, I have no desire to fight you. I already know that the authorities in New York have remanded her into your custody. I think we can do the same here. Thank you. I'll keep in touch. You want me to leave, Robert? No. I want you both to say I want to have a word with you. Oh. It's going to be all right. I'm very scared, Robert. Don't be. Every time I turn around, it seems to get worse. We'll get to the bottom of this. Robert, who would want to do this to me? Who? Oh, 
Holly. Oh, you'd have been a mess, but I'm in. I'm afraid your picture is plastered all over the front page. It's not true. I know, I know. Why are all the police out here? They found another Buddha in the house. What? Oh, don't ask me to explain. It's so complicated. I'm so confused. Oh. Holly, this is all my fault. Your fault? Yes, I never should have let you go to New York. Stay in New York alone. Oh, I'm not a child, Celia. I know, that may be true, but you certainly find trouble like one. Well, I was not looking for it. It found me. Do you want to tell me about it? It's very complicated. I know. Boy, it started out so simple. Whoever would have known that our little shopping trip would have ended so badly for you. I'll tell you one thing. I was not shopping for little green Buddhas. Go on. Oh, I think what I need right now is just to get the whole thing off my mind. Would you rather I left? No, no. Just uh, stay and let's just talk. Okay, whatever you need. Let's just not talk about me, all right? <laughs> all right. <laughs> Why don't you tell me how things are going with Jimmy Lee? Wonderful. The marriage is on. Really? Mm-hmm. I can't believe you're actually going through with it. Yeah. Lila and I were planning the guest list. Look at you. What? You're positively glowing. Am I? <laughs> Something's changed. You look like you're much more clear about your decision. I remember when we were in New York. Yes, I know. Until Jimmy Lee came to get me. He's so... He's such a wonderful man, Holly. He drove me crazy for a while, bugging me and always hanging around. But his persistence paid off, and I admire that. I have no doubt in my mind that he loves me. I can't believe you ever doubted that. Well, I, I doubted his intentions. Was it purely physical? Was it because of my social status? But I do think the, the attraction stemmed from that. But it's a lot more than that now. We're good friends as well as lovers. Well, that's very important. That's the most important thing. Mm-hmm. And I trust him. Like you trust Robert. Like he trusts you. No, oh, don't bring up trust. Yeah, I've misused Roberts terribly. No, that isn't true. Oh, but I have. I've dragged his name through some papers. I've made such a fool of me and Holly. Celia? Oh, what's happened? Hi. What's happened? Hi again, Celia. Uh, Sean and I just, uh, well, I'm going over a few things. Oh, well, I'll go. I'll... No, no, don't go, Celia. No, no, please stay. I'll make a deal with a good friend right now. Well, I'm here for Good, we appreciate that. Are you going to tell Sean everything? I'd like to know, Holly. Maybe I can help. Come on. See you later.